ATG against the Grand 310 Sports Podcast. What up? Big day today, bro. Huge day. Start of football season. I'm happy. I'm in a good mood. You in a good mood? I'm in a great mood, man. Don't forget you down 2-1 <laughs> in that series. So He tried to hear you ever yeah. read that. Put that out there. Huh? Yeah. yeah. You up 2-1? Yeah. I, I think you, you feeling good, right? I'm feeling great, but I want to I wanna stop it real quick. Mm-hmm. I want to offer you a $79.99 cancellation fee, <laughs> right? We better we better hunt it. You give me $79.99 right now, I'll let you cancel the bet because series <laughs> over. <laughs> you got to be fucked up, my nigga. The series ain't nowhere near over. The Rockets had played two straight good games with two good first halves. And in the third and fourth quarters at some of those two games, they, they slumped off and they didn't realize when the double team was coming. James Harden got to recognize where the double team is coming. Russell Westbrook, if he going to go one-on-one to Anthony Davis, he got to have a new strategy. The shit he doing ain't working. And Come on, man. He got to have a new strategy. What type of strategy can Russ have against AD? He too long to try to out-quick him and get to the rim. He been trying that. What happened he to – been settling for fucking – What happened been to – settling. Hold on. He been settling for jump shots. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And been looking crazy been out looking there. looking crazy so. as fuck. But that's what I'm saying. What happened to Russell Westbrook mid-range jump shot? Remember when we just went to Thunder those years and KD was there? Russell Westbrook had one of the best dribble or two dribble pull-up mid-range elbow, elbow jump shots. You couldn't guard. You couldn't yeah. guard him one-on-one. Russ what happened had to that the pull-up? Where he would yeah. come from a fast break. Streaming downhill, just, just stop. Yeah, wow. pull up. What happened? I don't know. Anthony Davis just be sagging off, looking at him, daring him to shoot. It got to be mental because at one point, Russ was a good free throw shooter, too. Oh, my God. And now it's like he look I, like Shaq I get scared there. when he go to the line. I get mad. Like, damn, he should have just laid the ball crazy. up. <laughs> and that may be a reason why he's settling for a lot of jump shots, too. But either way, series over. Uh, it don't matter. Nah, it's going the way over. I thought. The Rockets, y'all let some games go. And... uh. They let game two game go to be right. Game three was just was just sneaky. Was just like it was just like Rondo shocked everybody. I know the game plan is to leave him open to watch him shoot, but they didn't expect him to hit three or four threes, twelve points in the fourth quarter, twenty one points, nine assists. Nah, you got to guard James uh, Harden for uh, full court talking shit. He led the troops. It was him and Brian as the leaders. And that's what Rondo is. You shouldn't be surprised by that. Rondo been that type of player his whole career. Yes. His only problem has been health. So now he feeling good and he out there being Rondo, man. He he rallying the troops, putting everybody in the right position. And I kept saying my whole thing was the Rockets is going to win the series because the Lakers only had one nigga that could break the defense down, and that was Brian. No, I don't so right Rondo. now – Rondo's looking like he could break the defense down, and he hitting more jump shots than Russell Westbrook. Where all that James Harden energy at? James about, Harden, he's still uh, better than Brown. Yeah, and the series still not over. You need to go out there. and He's show still it doing. There. He he go getting out there and show it. He down. getting double teamed damn near every possession, and he's still getting thirty three plus a game and eight assists. What you want? He gonna need forty three. He passing and it to assists. the open man. And playing the offensive system he's supposed to be in, and he's still getting his numbers. And he's still he gonna down. push the he gonna push the Two issue. One. He gonna force the issue more this game though. The next three coming up, I said that. Nah, it still but might go six, like had, I predicted. Nah, but you still had him up three one. Yeah, I did. You got your your game one uh, prediction right though. I give you that, but I wasn't spooked. I wasn't shook. Uh, ain't just no, like Portland, ain't no Laker fan. Feel you out. Ain't no Laker fan listening to this. And they, and you with your buddy on the line didn't predict Razor Rondo to have the last two games he done had. So I'm not worried about that if I'm Houston. All Houston need to change is it's time to double Brown. Brown need to go through what Harden is going through. We'll see. You know, that's your boy Mike D'Antoni, right? Phoenix Sun, right? That's my boy. Okay then. So he got to go out there and change the game plan. <laughs> It's time to go up, though, tonight for Houston. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see what they coming with. Expect the double teams. Hit your wide open trays and Westbrook. Drive the ball. It's time for Russell Westbrook to learn that he's, in this series at least, he's not a point guard anymore. You have to turn into a, a forward center. And that might sound crazy because he's 6'3", but you got to set picks and roll now. You can't shoot. It's been proven. They know you can't shoot. They know that's the Rockets' weakness. You. So it's like... 
You got to set picks and roll into the paint and use your athleticism and get layups and try to get to the line, man, and attack the basket. That's been the game plan. You knew when you made the trade, Russell Westbrook wasn't a shooter. You knew his he, he get to the lane. Yeah, he's a fast break starter. He's an athletic beast. Y'all know you know his strengths and his weaknesses. But the thing is, in the playoffs, team good teams expose your weaknesses. They got time to really look at you and analyze your game, and that's what the Lakers are doing, man. And it's still early. Still, you still early. haven't seen Beast Brown yet. Bulldog. Nah, that last Brown in the first half I seen was probably one of the best Browns I seen. The Brian, champ shots that Brown was making. He playing with Houston. He man. was he was shooting with confidence. And, I ain't seen and, that type of Brown, and, and you know this, I was different, man. You know, like he said, some niggas is built for this, and some niggas is not, man. You know, send the double Daniel team. House was sneaking a uh, rat in. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't thinking about ain't titles. For uh, you know, maybe the NBA not not for you, bro, because that's crazy. Like Allegedly, that's the that's story I read, you know. though. But James Harden will get it together to, to, tonight, and the Rockets will win, and the pressure will be back on the Lakers game five, man. Nah, no, that's no pressure. Pressure's no pressure at all, man. It's I'm like, not overreacting the Lakers up 2-1. I don't even think it's panic mode for the Rockets. It's just minor adjustments, man. Minor. If Westbrook's an MVP and he the nigga he's supposed to be, it's time, so now, bro. So now you put it on Westbrook. Because you, James Harden no, been playing the way he's supposed to be playing. You plan. kept saying James Harden is better than LeBron. They have nobody who could stop James Brian Harden. Brian had, what, 36? I, wanna, I don't care about Brian numbers. We talking about Which, James what is, Harden. What has James Harden done wrong? What is he doing wrong? He ain't won the game, nigga. Come on, my That's nigga. what it all comes Come down on, to. Nigga. Come on, my nigga. He's supposed to be. Come you on, said he the best player in game the world. Game one, what did James Harden have? He had 30, what, 33, 30? The last two games he yeah. lost, what has he had? This is what, what has he done wrong? They just send him the double team. Make the open fucking shot. Not you an MVP to on, average man. a triple fucking double. On, right. Man. This is supposed to be you, Russell Westbrook. Take some of the load so off, nigga. What you mean? Oh nah, man. You put too much. They on, playing man. park old you school park ball back. on y'all. Tune in to that last episode. Man, go listen right? to it. You. Because I mm. think you forgot Mm-mm. what you were saying to James Harden. Now you nah. trying to put all the pressure on Westbrook. Nah, nah nigga. Man. Don't do that. I want that. the best player to go. Don't do that, my nigga. Don't do that, my nigga. So now you telling James Harden just to play you through the double team. always give him a pass, dog. You, how a pass, though? After you just pumped him up like that. I want you to still talk tough like that now. I'm still talking tough. I'm telling you they going to win the fucking series, nigga. And you're going to pay me my $100. What you mean? And you're going to bet it back on the Clippers. Because I'm going to give you that bet, too. And you I fuck it. with the Clippers, but I'm going to give you the racket bet you on them, have, too. But you yeah. gonna, Hey, you going to have niggas in the comments saying, man, just pay the seventy nine ninety nine. dollars <laughs> <laughs> Just pay the cancellation fee. Man. Nah, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing no cancel fee. Dude, no cancellation. This, you know. So, you Shout know. out to my Cali nigga. Cali got man. a lot of hoopers, huh? Even though my nigga mm-hmm. Brian, he running through Cali. I can't lie. <laughs> he ran through the nigga in the bay. Dame Lillard. He yeah. running through these two Cali niggas out here. Yeah. Harden, Westbrook. And then he gonna go and run through Kawhi. And PG, man, he running through my state, bro. He ain't even done with the two LA niggas right now, bro. What, what you mean, like? And I ain't <laughs> even no Laker fan. I'm just, you got to tell the truth, my nigga. I'm telling it, just man. Just be real. He the best player I'm in the league right now. I'm watching different games, man. Around. I'm watching different games. You man. just been a hater to me. He played with superior hater, talent. Man, I mean, it's like Anthony Davis ain't no scrub, bro. We debating if he a superstar we, or not. We class of 03. How you ain't fucking with him? We I class fuck with of Brown. 03. Brown a real nigga. He's a real man. But when niggas get to talking goat talking. I'm off this Remy right now. Yeah, I'm off this Taki. Uh, you feel me? Niggas get to talking goat talk. It just be like, I don't agree with the goat talk. I think Mike better. I think Kobe was better. I think Tim Duncan was better. Yeah, that's you know? the hater right there. How, bro? Mike He's being real. is by far the, the goat to yeah. me. Yeah. You know, we can we gonna have an episode on one, on that one day and really go into detail about it. 
But yeah, Mike was dominate offense and defense. But after that, it's debate. You know, it's hard to just say. Kobe is a debate. I'll give you a a, a debate. debate. I think Kobe's personally better. Tim Duncan. I think Tim Duncan personally better. Yeah. He ain't flashy, but I'm a Suns fan. I've seen the best of that man. Torture y'all for years. I've seen the best of Kobe. Prime years. I know, like, you know? So it's like Brian's still in there. He real. Brian's real. superstar. He's a superstar. One one of the greats. He's one of the GOATs, but it's like the GOAT? Top three, My. top four to me? I don't know. You know, him and Magic well, might be a I good don't know debate. About the number yet, but I just know that I got Mike at at number one. His career, his achievements, you know, his story. By far. Yeah, by far. He's the GOAT. Stop debating that. Yeah, we gotta close it on that call. You already know. Hey, Compton. Against the against the grain sports podcast. Look at him. <laughs> Slurring. Out of here. Gang.